Hi, this is Wanda and Paula from Alanda Craft, and what I'm going to show you today is how to do an applique using some iron-on fabric applique contact sheet with the Brother Scan and Cut. So, this is the sheet. You can purchase this for about, I know here in Australia we got this for about $12 something, wasn't yes, it? Yes, yes. That spotlight, but I'm sure in the US you could probably get this a little cheaper. Okay. So we've already cut a sheet of the applique paper, which we'll have to iron onto our fabric. I've got my fabric here. This is where I'm going to put my applique. Now, because I don't want to just rush straight in and then find it doesn't all work, we've cut a template of the frog, and this is his belly. So we actually cut that um, frog on the brother scan and cut. It is a pattern that's actually in the in the scan and cut. So when you we come to that you'll see be able to see where it is and so I'm going to we, we can see that fits nicely and so we're going to cut that out of our green fabric and the black piece will be his belly so okay so we'll um, show you now how to use the brother scan and cut to do that yes so what I'm going to do now is to iron my piece of um, adhesive I place it shiny side down onto the material and then I'm going to iron it on. Use a medium heat. And you do this for about 20 seconds according to the instructions. I've turned the steam off so I believe that's going to be fine. Okay, so I also need to do this to the black piece of material, so I'll go and do that now, and then we'll see how we go with the scan and cut. Right, so I have my piece of material with the backing already ironed onto it, and now I'm going to cut out my frog. So I've changed the blade side down to a four, up to a four, so that there's a bit more blade showing, so that it'll cut nicely through the material. Going to select the pattern. Right now, remember we want it to be two hundred. It's very quick, and it automatically changes the width to match the height of this particular pattern. You can deselect these two so that they, if you're doing a pattern and you want to automate or manually change the width and height, you can do that. It's okay. Now we're doing pattern A. Okay. Right. Set. Move it down just a little. Okay. I'm going to load the mat. And we're going to cut. Press the cut button and the start button. Select the next part to do the, the tummy, but we'll do that after. So I'm going to just finish and take this piece out. The reason I'm ejecting it now is because we're going to use a different colour for the belly. And here is our frog, all beautifully cut out with our adhesive material on the back, ready to be ironed onto our backing piece. 
So as you can see, we have our backing piece of material and it has uh, all sorts of creepy crawlies, dragonflies and what are those things they have with thousand legs, millipedes, centipedes. So we're going to place our frog on here and iron him on. Now, as you can see, I've got the his belly already with the adhesive on the back, so I'm just going to position that and iron that on as well. So that's my block ready to satin stitch around or even paint around. You could use uh, those paints. Uh, everybody uses in the tube and our little frog is finished.